Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard are on a massive expansion drive to increase their warship fleet. At present 63 warships are under construction for Indian Navy out of which 61 is being built by Indian Shipyard. For Indian Coast Guard 11 ships are under construction from Indian Shipyards. The next big warship to be constructed for Indian Navy includes aircraft carrier, which is going to be a repeat of ISC-1 with few enhancements. The decision for building aircraft carrier is expected in financial year 2024-25. The acceptance of necessity for procurement of next generation Corvettes NGC at an estimated cost of about 36,000 crore rupees was also granted in June 2022. The RFP for same is expected to come out in financial year 2024. In August 2021, Indian Navy has released an RFI for procuring four landing platform docks LPDs with anticipated delivery timeline for the first vessel being maximum of 60 months followed by delivery of one vessel every 12 months. In August 2022, the Ministry of Defence has also released a request for information to procure 12 mine counter vessels for Indian Navy from Indian shipyards. The order is planned to be split between two shipyards in ratio of 8 is to 4. Navy is planning for 8 next generation destroyer to be built in two phases. As per CMD of GRC, the RFP for these next generation destroyer is expected to be released by financial year 2026-27. The entire project is estimated to worth nearly $10 billion. Musgaon Dock Limited is the only Indian shipyard which is having experience and expertise to build destroyers for Indian Navy. At present, MDL is executing the Project 15B Vishakapatnam class destroyers which will be complete by year 2024. MDL is procuring a new floating dry dock to accommodate the massive 10,000 tons of next generation destroyers. GRSE will also be participating in Navy's NGT program. While the firm has not yet built any destroyer for Indian Navy, it has already launched three Project 17 Alpha class frigates having displacement of 6,670 ton which are scheduled for delivery from mid of 2025 to mid of 2026. We always had concern about the number of vertical launch system or missiles that Indian Navy warship can carry. And it seems like Indian Navy's warship design bureau has taken it seriously. Indian Navy has released a video showcasing its next generation combat management system. In the video, you can notice 8 cell VLS arranged in 3x3 three three configuration which means there are total 72 VLS in the front. What is not clear is the number of VLS at aft. The warship is shown mostly from the front where the VLS farm at front seems to be more than the one at the aft. However, if both are of same size, the destroyer will have 144 VLS in total. But if the VLS at the aft is smaller than one in front, it will have 48 VLS and in total it will be 120. There are 8 slant launchers as well. So in my opinion, from what it seems, it is going to be 120 VLS plus 8 slant launchers. The VLS also seems to be a UVLS that is Universal Vertical Launch System being developed by DRDO. The another key takeaway from the video is the network centric warfare and the communication between the warships which could also be sharing of threat information. This is following the 3C principle which is command, control and communication which forms the backbone of integrated combat system. The design caters for optimal interoperability targeting manned unmanned teaming operations in an ever evolving new age warfare. The most noticeable change in Project 18 class destroyers is going to be their radars. In almost all the latest naval warship, we can see Israel's MF-Star mast-mounted radar. 
This will be likely to be replaced with DRDO's long-range multifunction radar LR MFR. The INS Anvish, a technology demonstration vehicle, is being built by DRDO at Cochin Shipyard Limited and has been fitted with the housing of a new type of dual panel long range radar system by LRD called long range multifunctional radar it is an active phased array radar with a range more than 500 kilometers and features octagonal face plates that are approximately 5.5 to 6 meter in diameter therefore instead of mast mount radars ngd may feature a multi phased active phased array radar based on lr mfr the ngd will require two types of main apr radars one for short wavelength and another one for longer wavelength lr mfr will perform the role of tracking targets to fire control of sams and bmds the ngd will feature hamsa ng a third generation ship born hull mounted sonar system developed by dido and produced by pl the next generation destroyer will be built to fire arrays of indigenous weapons for anti surface anti submarine and land attack roles with 128 vls the warship will have a massive fire power the key weapons of the destroyer will be brahmos missile brahmos ng lrsam er nirbhay or itcm lsem mrsam xrsam vl srsam and aad the destroyer will be equipped with lighter version of smart anti submarine warfare missiles for taking out enemy submarines and advanced torpedo decoy system the missile has a range of 643 km carrying a light torpedo of range 20 km and 50 kg of high explosive warhead the 533 mm varunastra is likely to be the main torpedo armament The NGD may also feature a UVLS that is universal VLS which will eliminate the need for multiple missile launchers. It will feature a 127 mm main naval gun and 376 mm super rapid guns. Navy has even planned to integrate DU that is direct energy weapons. DIDO is in process of developing 100 kW DU called Durga 2. PSU has also developed a 25 kW DU that can neutralize a ballistic missile. at a range of 5 kilometers bl is already producing the laser dazzlers for indian navy warship the due to be used in ngd may be a version of 100 kilowatt due being developed by drdo the due will be used as a close in weapon system and may complement or supplement the traditional ciws drdo is also working on electromagnetic railgun it has already developed 10 megajoule railgun and 100 megajoule capacitor based railgun is under development which could be possibly integrated with warship and could replace the naval guns the ngd will have a huge power requirement due to its larger size and massive radars and possible integration of dues and railguns the huge power requirement could be met with the help of integrated electric propulsion which is the future of propulsion in warship The IEP eliminates the need for clutches and gear boxes by using electrical transmission rather than mechanical transmission of energy making the warship easy to maintain silent and stealthier LNT and DRDO is working on DRDO's already launched program which is called gas turbine enabling technology for developing the marine propulsion the plant gas turbine will deliver up to 36 megawatt and destroyer may have two of these to deliver a power of 72 megawatt in a configuration with two diesel generators of 10 megawatt each and two electric propulsion motors of 20 megawatt the tata advanced systems limited which has designed platform bridge and combat management system in past will work on the diesel generators and motors this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section If you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector